Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, welcome to Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shola Shumakide. God is good and His mercy endures forever. Lift up your hands and worship Him. Oh, Father, we thank you. We all know you will worship you. You are great and truly, greatly to be praised. Just give Him praise and thank Him. Our Lord is awesome in all His ways. He's mighty. Wherever you are this morning, let's give Him thanks together. Thank Him for your family, for everyone connected to you. Thank you for everything around you. Let everything that has breath praise the name of the living God. Father, we worship you, we give you praise. Thank you for another opportunity to look into the world again. We give you praise, we love you, we worship you. You are awesome, Father, you are great. Thank you, your goodness is so real to us. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus is alive. And I'm sharing something very beautiful with you this morning. Hallelujah. And that is God cannot lie. Oh, praise God. He can't lie. You know, I want to read from Numbers 23, 19. It's a scripture you know very well. The Bible says, God is not a man that should lie. Wow. God is not a man that should lie. So man can lie. It doesn't mean, it's not limited to a man telling lie outrightly. It also means that at times a man can promise and circumstances can be beyond his ability to fulfill what he has promised. If a person says he's going to give you money and is robbed, he might not be able to. 
if a person says you will be there for a meeting that you have scheduled and he falls sick and is, is a very terrible type, he might not be able to, but not God. So the Bible says God is not a man. I'm so glad that God is not a man. Praise God. You know, in Genesis 18, when God came down to visit by Abraham and mommy Sarah, and then God said something, Genesis 18, verse 10. You know, God asked in verse 9, where is Sarah? And Abraham said, behind the tent. And God said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had in the tent that was buried, and she began to laugh. Listen. <laughs> of course, she felt she was 90 or 89 this time around. And God said, Sarah, we have a son. And Sarah felt that, no, this is not going to happen. Somebody's watching me this morning. You have received a word from God. You have prayed about something. You believe with the whole of your heart that it was coming, and now it looks like it has passed. It's not going to happen again. You are beginning to think that it might not work. No. God is not a man. Time cannot affect God. It's not a man that should lie. Titus 1 says, In the hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie. It's impossible for God to lie. Because God is not a man. When Sarah laughed, God said to Sarah here, He said, Don't you know I'm the God of all flesh? Verse 14. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I would have thought. You know, Sarah laughed. She thought from uh, the point, point of view of a man, from the perspective of a woman being, that at 90 was going to happen. And God said, you don't understand what I'm saying. I am the Almighty. And God emphasized that word again. He said, by this time next year, according to the time of life, I'm giving Sarah a son. Somebody listening to me this morning, in the name of Jesus, the word that God has spoken to, the promise that God has given you will not fail. God is not a man. He's not affected by the situation in the country. He's not affected by the environment. Because he is not a man, he cannot lie. He did not lie to you. He will not lie to you. Everything he has spoken to you will come to pass. Your future is in his hands. Your family, your job. There might be a moment of tension, persecution, affliction, whatever. God's word will not fail. And you know what? Because he's not a man and he does not lie. He doesn't forget whatsoever he says. He doesn't forget his words. It does not matter how many years ago. In the name of Jesus, you watching me, I speak to you by the Spirit that there will be the fulfillment of every word that God has spoken to you. Because God is not a man. He said, I hasten over my word to perform it. Lift up your hands and say, thank you, Father, for every word you have spoken to me and over me, that they will come to pass. Because you are not a man that should lie. Hallelujah. The peace is coming. The prosperity is coming. In the name of Jesus. God is not a man that should lie. Now, this morning, as you go around your duty, go around what to do, go about your duty and go around what to go around everywhere, wherever you go. I just wanted to have this at the back of him. I meditate on this repeatedly. That God is not a man. So if you do that, it will be very easy for you to believe whatever he has said to you. Meditate over and over again on the fact that God is not a man. He is not a man, so he cannot lie. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, God is not a man. And nothing stops him. Hallelujah. God bless you. Till I come your way again on a beautiful Sunday morning, morning. This is messy moment. And I'm Shalosh Remember, God is good. And
Jesus, we say in Jesus forever.